Hello dear friends and engineers who like to learn AkiCAD in a principal way. If you have such an intention, you have come to the right place. So please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Because together we're gonna design a model read up from scratch. So let's see the rest of this video. This video you're watching is the second part of the AkiCAD project based tutorials. So, if you haven't seen the first video, I suggest you pause this video here and go see the first video. Because the parts are interconnected, I also put the link above. In this video, we'll get acquainted with the start page of ARCHICAD and practice together how to import an AutoCAD file into ARCHICAD and design on it. Be with me. First of all, I open a powerful and attractive ARCHICAD 25. At the top of the page that opens, we have three options, new, browse, and teamwork. It's almost certain when they can be used. With teamwork, we can do a project as a team that we don't cover here. With the browse option, we can give it a project path to open, which you'll all be able to do. And if we click on new, the new project window opens, which has two important sections, template and work environment profile. In the template section, we can introduce the template to our software. And in the work environment profile section, we can use different ARCHICAD drawing models. If we click on the last profile use option here, yeah. The settings of the previous project, such as units of measurements, arrangement of tools, and so so so, will also be applied to our new project. We want to start a project from scratch. Then I select ARCHICAD template and set the work environment profile to default. And finally, click on new to intro ARCHICAD. I really like her very much. We're now on the lovely ARCHICAD screen, but before we get start we need to prepare a few things the first things i get used to doing before i start is changing units of measurements and drawing usually i get used to converting units to meters so i go to the option tab and I go to project preferences and finally I click on working units. Here I convert all my units into meter as much as possible and increase the number of decimals to two. Then I press OK. I repeat the same path again, options, project preferences, and this time I click on dimensions. And in this window, I check the unit and the number of decimals again. Because we need most of this and I want to adjust to my taste from the beginning. And finally, I click on OK. After changing the units and the number of decimals, it's better to introduce the number and height of flows to the software. If you remember, I told you in the previous section that for better and easier design, we need to write down some information like the height of the flows. In this section, we're gonna give that information to ARCHICAD. To do this, I go to the design tab and click on the story settings, which has the shortcut keys right in front of it and you can press them to go directly to the story settings window. In this window, you'll see the number, name, start level, and end level of the default ARCHICAD floors. For example, the ground floor starts from zero and is three meters high. After that, we enter the first floor. With these three options below, we can add the number of floors above or below the selected floors or delete the selected floors. For example, I select the first floor and add one one floor below it and one floor above it. If you look closely, you'll see that the height indicator numbers change automatically. While I select these two floors that I created and delete them with the stories button. Okay, we reviewed our plan in the previous section and we know what we're gonna to draw. So I adjust the number and height of my flaws. Please watch carefully and practice for yourself. You can pause the video and watch the rest of the video after practicing what has been said. After applying my settings, I click OK. 
My AutoCAD is now ready to start designing or importing a file from software such as AutoCAD. Of course, according to my test. And you can choose any units you're comfortable with. Before we continue our training, I ask you again if you like my training and you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel after liking the video and give me energy with your comments because good things are going to happen on this channel. Thank you. Well, well, in this video, I explain how to import AutoCAD files and other files into AutoCAD, but I prefer to work on a default file to start designing my plan. Of course, the image of the plan we want is always in front of my eyes. And as I said in the previous part of our tutorial, I'll draw this plan with a lot of personalization and changes. Well, let's practice inserting a file into this home page. There are several ways to do this and I'll teach you a basic way. You have to go to the file tab, the interoperability option, hold down the merge option and finally click on the merge from file. It was very comfortable, wasn't it? I close this window and repeat this piece again to review. File, interoperability, merge, merge from file. In the merge file window, make sure that the option opposite file of type is on all files. Because if it's on all images, for example, you can only see and select image files. Then I select the all files option and with the help of the tools previewed by my operating system, I go and find the AutoCAD file I want. It's over here. I double click on my file to open it. Okay. In this small window, AutoCAD wants that this file has been locked by another software because I also opened this file in AutoCAD. So make sure that the file you want should not be opened by AutoCAD or any other software. Close AutoCAD and click on retry. If my file had not been opened by AutoCAD from the beginning, we wouldn't have seen this warning. We came to an important and influential part that determines the location, size, and rotation of our map. In this window, we'll examine the three options, insertion point, scale, and rotation. When the specify on a screen is checked, we can move the entire map with the mouse and place it in the desired location. But if we unchecked it, we can only select the location by entering the coordinates. In this case, the map coordinates are very influential in AutoCAD. This means that if the coordinates of the file in AutoCAD are not 0 and 0, but we set it to 0 and 0 here, it won't fall on the center of our kid screen. But if the coordinates in AutoCAD are 0 and 0, we leave it at 0 and 0. The map in AutoCAD will also be on the center of the coordinate axis. We're actually entering the origin coordinates of the AutoCAD screen in ArcCAD, not the coordinates of the drawings. So be careful about this. The specifying screen checkbox has the same function in the scale and rotation options. So I won't go into them anymore. Usually we don't need to rotate the map. So without additional explanation, I leave the number at zero and I check it. But the scale section is very important. Usually Usually with the units that I set and draw in AutoCAD and ARCHICAD, when I enter the AutoCAD file into the ARCHICAD without changing the scale, it looks 1000 times smaller than the standard and I have to make the drawing 1000 times bigger. I'll explain more. I usually consider each unit in AutoCAD with a scale factor of 1, 1 meter. For example, to draw a line 10 and a half meters long, after determining the first point of my line, type the number 10.5 and press enter. I also set the ARCHICAD unit on the meter. In this case, when I import the AutoCAD file into ARCHICAD, it's 1000 times smaller than ARCHICAD standard. But we don't always know the scale of the AutoCAD files. 
So I let the numbers in front of X and Y remain one. Confirming this and click here to import. Select all, okay. I check some dimensions. It's okay, but sometimes the sizes may be not be right, either smaller or larger. For example, I resize this plan. Like this. How can we resize this plan to normal size? To resize the map, we need to know the size of one part of our drawing. For example, I know that the actual measure of between these lines is 20 centimeters, which is small here. The way it works is that I draw a line in real length from the starting point of the desired line. Then I select the line tool from the document tab and draw the line we want. Then I select all the drawings and uncheck the line. I just draw. Press Ctrl A and press Shift and select this and click on this line to uncheck it. Now I have to take all the selected drawing out of go mode because if some of the drawings are interconnected, they may cause problems in the scaling phase. To do this, I use the K combination, Ctrl, Shift, and G. We can also access the grouping tool from the Edit tab and Grouping Ungroup. Then to enable the Scale or Resize tool, click on the Resize icon from the standard toolbar. I can also use the Ctrl, K, key combination. The resize window has two main parts, resize ratio and resize effects. About resize ratio, I gave a similar explanation a few minutes ago when I was talking about match. If you uncheck define graphically, you can adjust your scale by changing these numbers. In the resize effects section, the desired elements for resizing can be selected or removed from the selection mode. I don't deselect any of these and use the same define graphically method and click OK. Now, all I have to do is click three places. First click at the beginning of the plan line. Second click at the end of this line. And the third click at the end of the line that we drew with the correct scale. And we see that our plan for this line has changed and the dimensions are right. In the next part of this training course, we'll get acquainted with the methods of drawing the wall and its settings. And together, we'll draw the walls of this plan and give it an initial 2D shape. So be sure to wait for that video. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you're happy to be with me. So please like this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and put the bell sign in all modes so that whenever I publish a video, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions, please write in the comment section so that I can answer as soon as possible. This is a help to both me and your friends because with your likes and comments my videos get a better chance to being seen. You can also see the playlist of this project oriented training course on the screen. You can click on it and watch the videos of this playlist from the beginning. Good luck and goodbye.